What is crypto marketing and what is one of the most important missing concepts in it? The truth that probably none of the blockchain marketing agencies want you to know. There are dozens of videos about crypto marketing, but most of them are not explaining one very important concept. A basic concept that can make or break the game in your efforts to make your crypto project mainstream or at least reach your KPIs. Let me start with one misconception, advertising is not equal to marketing please, remember this. Actually, advertising is just one part of marketing, called promotion. The marketing efforts should start with the offer that you want to show to the world. But if you want even higher chances of becoming mainstream your marketing efforts should start with the development of your product solution. There are viral marketing concepts that you can implement in the core of your token that can make virality an easy task, but that's another story. Now back to the topic of this video. The reality is that the successful promotion of a bad product or a bad offer is a very hard or close to impossible task in crypto and in all markets. My experience has shown me many times that a product that solves a problem and or gives a newer, better solution can be sold with less efforts and marketing spend. The last thing is true, only if the offer of the blockchain solution is structured in a proper way. Before sharing more about that, let me first explain what is an offer. Offer is the presentation of your product features and benefits together with other elements in a way that can stimulate the visitor to make the purchase. Structuring your offer in the right way means presenting the blockchain solution through your offer in a way so your clients have the feeling that this is a no-brainer purchase and the only next logical step in solving their problem. This is very very important because this is your first impression with the investor, your first engagement with them. If it is a positive one who doesn't want to have a feeling that he has made a great deal that's related to our addiction to dopamine, but this is another topic then you are on a very good starting point. And after that, if your token really delivers what it has promised to, then you will have more than a satisfied customer, there is a chance you to have won a brand ambassador. This is what we should aim for with our product, offer, and marketing efforts to increase the chance our clients to become our brand ambassadors. In the other scenario where you have a great blockchain solution that delivers and people buy it not because you have a great offer, but just because someone has pushed it into their throats, they just don't feel that this is the right decision, but they still have bought it for one reason or another or just because they don't have another option, then at the moment they see a cheaper or better alternative you will be in trouble. They will probably try to sell for a profit or just sell and leave. And if your product doesn't deliver on its promises, then it will not only sell as soon as possible, but they will probably find a way to tell to the world about their negative experience, which can be disastrous for your business. This is how important it is today to start with the best possible and positive first impression. It wasn't like that before, but now consumers are much more sophisticated investors in their buying behavior much more demanding with a trembling finger on the sell trigger. So if you don't adapt then you have less chance to survive, this is a video about crypto marketing, so how this is connected to it. There are a few reasons why I wanted to first introduce you to the importance of the product and the offer concept. The main one is that it can clearly show you why maybe you are currently wasting your money on advertising when your product or your offer are not good probably one of them or both even suck. What I am trying to say is that if things are not going in the direction that you want, the problem is probably not the advertising, but the marketing, just because advertising is not marketing. I am not saying that you are doing great advertising, but you should definitely check your product and offer before blaming your ads. If you are in this situation it is good to do a step back and make deep research on the offer first. Analyze the way that you have structured your page. Maybe something is missing or there are parts that need to be removed. I would recommend using a tool like Hotjar to analyze the behavior of your visitors and make assumptions based on what you see and optimize. After that, honestly, the best would be if you can go one more step back and analyze your product too. 
It is definitely true that in crypto the amount of purchases depends on the current market sentiment is it a bear or a bull market. But if you can offer a solution to a problem that people need to solve immediately then the market will not have a such high impact on the number of holders that you have. Of course, if you are a meme project you are very much dependent on the market situation, but these types of projects rarely deliver any solutions, based on my experience. What I have seen is that most investors buy them in the hope to become millionaires overnight or in a very short amount of time. And when markets start to go down, most investors start selling their tokens because the chance of becoming a millionaire is slipping away. This is what I mean when I say a negative result when a product that doesn't deliver on its promises. In our case becoming a millionaire. But the target of this video is crypto projects that really have something to offer to the world, a real value, not empty promises. The other reason why I wanted to start with the product offer concept is that if you are still building your product or offer, you should spend more time researching, thinking, and preparing both and maybe contact me to help you with that. Otherwise, you may be in a bad situation later when there is a good amount of competitors that can conquer the market, while you are trying to rebuild everything from scratch. So my suggestion for you is to be sure that you are solving the problem in a new, unique, better, faster, easier way before moving to the next part which is preparing your offer. I will create a new video about how to prepare your offer but for now keep in mind that the goal of your offer is to make it a no-brainer, exciting, and the next logical step in the journey to find the solution to the problem for your potential investors. And the third reason why I have started with this concept is the agencies. When you are going to a marketing agency keep in mind that probably they are an advertising or PR agency, not a marketing agency. They can probably give you the best available advertising, promise you the world, create a buzz and hype around your project which is great and important. But without the great first impression you will be very quickly replaced with another project and your tokens will be sold, in the first possible moment. Maybe this is what you want, which is okay, but if you want long-term growth and bigger profits, you definitely need crypto brand ambassadors. And if this is the case, then make a serious audit on your product, if this is possible, and on your offer and make the needed adjustments. Before increasing your advertising budget or maybe stop for a while and make the needed changes, especially now when there is such uncertainty in the market. We are still early, so you have time to fix the issues. Going back a few steps doesn't mean leaving the battle, it may mean preparation for a very big jump. If you need help with this product offer audit, structure preparation, and design or marketing, feel free to click on the book a free consultation button, I would be more than happy to support you. If you liked our video make sure to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to never miss any upcoming videos.